Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here on this uh, February 28th, 2023, last day of February, about 10.30 a.m. here along the West Coast in California, and the latest quake shows a 3.7 earthquake here around the Indonesia area. Also some movement kicking up around the West Coast in California. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, latest activity here across the models here and see what we got going on. Uh, I was looking at this area around the Izu Trench. Uh, we did see that uh, fairly deep earthquake activity last night, well, early uh, evening yesterday, almost a 500 kilometer deep 4.0. Um, we were looking for some adjustment and we found it overnight and this morning so far, just a little bit further up north along the plate boundary. Uh, but that subsequent shallower earthquake activity did kick up in this area of the Izu Trench. Uh, this one coming in uh, just a few, well, a couple hours after midnight, but uh, a deeper activity triggering some surface quake activity further up north along this plate boundary. Uh, now what is noticeable also in, as well is some deeper movement further north here uh, underneath the Japan area, about 301 kilometers deep for a 4.2. So this whole area kind of looks like it's getting ready to uh, possibly produce a little bit larger of an earthquake. We did see a 5.2. That was the shallower one following the deeper earthquake activity. Uh, but also we did, it uh, looks like a 4.5 just off the coast here of Tokyo, uh, about 43 kilometers deep. So watch this region here today, uh, potentially for some larger movement uh, when we see a little cluster like this across the uh, uh, plate boundary with variable depths there are deep and shallow quakes definitely a sign of some um, some possible further movement uh, down south mariana trench looks pretty quiet here for now i'm going to double check this with the emsc model uh, just to make sure that region does look fairly quiet um, we did see a 5.2 coming in here to the area let's see exactly where that's at China region, the 5.2 coming in early this morning, well away from the major plate boundary here, pretty shallow earthquake, uh, still waiting for some larger scale movement along this section of the plate, uh, down to about the middle America trench uh, for some, obviously some larger activity. It's been very quiet there, and that's a major strain builder, stress builder. Uh, so a lot of earthquake activity today around the Maluka, Banda Sea region, Indonesia Islands, uh, and Papua New Guinea all showing a cluster of quakes as well. Uh, so we do have a couple different regions to watch today. Um, looks like some older movement activity there from uh, New Zealand yesterday, 4.2 coming in to the uh, Cook Strait area. Shaking things up out there a little bit. Uh, I don't know if we've had any further aftershock sequences so for that let's go over to the geonet servers and see what we have going on here there's that uh, 4.6 but it looks like it's uh, still remaining as a 4.8 from the geonet servers here um some prior or i should say yeah earlier this morning earthquake activity looks like quite a few ones and twos i don't believe we've seen anything larger than that 4.8 that kicked up last night. Uh, there's a 4.2. This one's way north, though, and way deep into the Kermadec Trench. Uh, let's see if this has been reported here. It doesn't look like USGS is reporting that specific earthquake. And EMSC not reporting it either, but uh, according to the GeoNet servers, uh, some deeper movement occurring up here along the Kermadec Trench. We did see a little bit of activity further up north, way up north around Fiji. Some deeper movement quakes here just after midnight and uh, more recent 4.7. Looks like uh, some fairly deep activity starting to kick back up here around the Tonga Trench. Uh, so definitely some broad scale activity occurring on the western Pacific plate today and uh, adjacent plates around the Indonesia area. Uh, so with that, in mind things should be mellowing out here along the west coast which uh, there's not a whole lot of activity kicking up right now uh, only got one earthquake in the last hour we did have a 3.6 coming in 
uh, to the Ridgecrest area, just south of Ridgecrest here, southeast, uh, about 8, 5.30 in the morning, 8 kilometers deep. This is an area that's seen a 3.2 yesterday. Uh, so a little bit of movement taking place here. Uh, it's not really associated with that fault that uh, had the earthquake activity here a couple years ago. The larger quakes on July 4th and July 5th of, um, I think that was 2019. Uh, this earthquake activity occurring more away from that fault system and closer to the Garlock Fault shear zone, but not specifically on it. It looks like it's around the Sprangler Hills area. Uh, not for sure exactly what's out there. Uh, besides a lot of desert, but um, yeah, these occurring uh, roughly about eight kilometers deep or so within this area of uh, Southern California. Uh, there's that one uh, more recent earthquake here up north of the Ridgecrest area near the Coso Volcanic Field. Uh, but aside from that, definitely seen activity uh, toned down out here along the west coast. No major swarming kicking up here. We did see a little bit, just a small amount of earthquake activity around the Salton Sea area uh, this morning. A couple ones kicking off here within, uh, looks like within seconds of each other. Uh, 1.3, same magnitudes. So uh, this area does see quite a bit of swarming on occasion and uh, can see, uh, you know, definitely some good swarms out here historically. But the only thing that concerns me is when we see the swarms is the uh, association here with the San Andreas Fault, the southern branch. That is a uh, pretty much a sleeping giant. Don't want to wake that up. Uh, let's see, Pacific Northwest, relatively uh, minor. I believe this activity, most of it from yesterday, we did have another 1.0. Very small microquake, about 19 kilometers deep outside of Mount Rainier. Yellowstone National Park, not showing a whole lot up there today. Uh, Texas looks like um, a lot of this is from yesterday. We did see two quakes here, two twos, um, just after midnight. But again, most of that activity from yesterday. Uh, a little bit of activity across the Oklahoma area. South Carolina shows a 1.3 near Elgin, South Carolina. We haven't seen any activity here uh, in the past couple months. This area has seen some swarming last year, um, some significant swarming. Looks like that may be... Uh, well, one earthquake, can't really say it's going to kick back up into a swarm, but it's been a, been a little while since we've seen any activity out there. All right, around the Puerto Rico Trench area, getting some activity as well. Uh, just after midnight, a couple smaller quakes up here around the Puerto Rico Trench and scattered about around the Puerto Rico mainland area. Uh, nothing major going on, just a couple small quakes throughout the uh, last 24 hours. This area of Chile, all this activity from yesterday, but I want to just double check. Looks like we did see um, a couple more smaller quakes recent uh, in the White Rings. Some activity there in the Middle America Trench continuing. Looks like a 4.2 right here. I hear the train. It's it's a coming. Train is coming. That's for sure. Um, yeah, so we're kind of missing one earthquake here around this area. Let's see what that is here. Looks like maybe a 4.2. Pretty recent quake coming in uh, just about an hour and a half ago. So a couple earthquakes missing within that zone of the... Uh, actually, that's going to be up here. Missing a couple quakes here from the USGS map. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. Alaska. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen any more auroras last night up there, but uh, the night before looked pretty impressive across areas of Alaska. Some beautiful uh, aurora shots that uh, some folks have been showing. Earthquake activity, relatively minor today. Got about 39 earthquakes listed up here on the map. And for the 2.5 and above, there's not a whole lot. About three earthquakes, no major movement taking place here uh, throughout the area. Of Alaska. Lucian Trench quiet. Curl Kamchaka Trench quiet as well. Uh, this is the one that's I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Um, 
Let's see what we got here. Got to watch this area definitely pretty closely because of the migration that we're seeing up along the Izu Trench, kind of working its way towards the Jap Japan Trench. Uh, might want to keep an eye on that area as well. Let's see, there it is. I knew I could, I felt a little bit of rumbling. And uh, occasionally I do feel that train. It depends on what it's hauling. All right, let's see what else. Quite a bit of uh, movement around Turkey continuing today uh, with some westward migration along the plate boundaries. Seeing a couple twos and some fours out there. Let's see what we got across the area of Turkey. Now, this map is only going to show a small amount, uh, but we're definitely seeing quite a bit of activity here across Crete. Uh, one earthquake in the area, 4.456 kilometers deep. But uh, definitely looks like there's a little bit more taking place out there. Um, two fours and a couple other threes and uh, a couple other threes and some smaller quakes as well. And uh, all this activity kind of occurring following that uh, deeper movement quake yesterday. Uh, looks like it may have triggered a, uh, a swarm of quakes around this area where that deeper movement took place. Yeah, that's quite, uh, quite the uptick here. There's at least... Let me see what we got. Let me bring down the magnitudes here a little bit. See what we got. Uh, oops, that's the date. Bring this up here a little bit. Yeah, there's at least two four-pointers, new ones, following that deeper movement. And then, uh, yeah, quite a few uh, smaller quakes in that area as well. Definitely got uh, something brewing out here in the region. Turkey. Overnight, uh, continuing with its earthquake activity, and that's going to be a, a standard thing for a little while. Aftershocks can continue for many months and years uh, following large-scale activity. Uh, let's see what else we got out here in the uh, close to the Arabian Sea. 5.4 and the Carlsberg Ridge coming in about 4 o'clock this morning. A little fracture boundary out here see here uh, Atlantic Ocean looks pretty quiet for now not a whole lot popping off and uh, just for verification let's double check the the globe which looks like it is clear for now not a whole lot going on all right so definitely a couple areas to watch it seems like the westward uh, momentum here along the plates uh, wants to push all this activity uh, today to the to the western regions here of the Pacific Plate and adjacent plates areas that have not been hit should be watching uh, that for some further movement today uh, potentially well the Mariana Trench did see a little bit of activity here last week but um, there's still quite a bit of westward pressure uh, gradient going on so we'll watch these areas throughout the day today um, let's see what we've got going on in Hawaii one earthquake in the last hour, 2.1 Pahala area. Not a whole lot going on here. 11 earthquakes. And in your typical level or typical areas that see these uh, uh, this movement. All right, uh, let me double check Yellowstone here real quick and see what, uh, what's going on. I don't see anything really spectacular. A little bit of quake activity around Maple Creek. A couple small earthquakes here listed up on the map. All right, space weather activity. We just had a uh, an M flare kick up, pretty large M flare. There is the feature on the UV filter of the sun. That's coming off of the uh, well, about the only sunspot that poses a threat. Kind of chatting about that last night. It's going to be uh, this one up here. Here's the most recent imagery, starting to tone down a little bit, and not quite as bright, but it still has. A little bit of flaring going on, so not for sure if it's done yet or not. There is the really sharp, short duration M flare. Don't believe this was uh, associated with any type of CME. It did peak out around M8.6, almost an X flare. A pretty strong flare, but again, not, uh, doesn't look like it was eruptive. 
and that was coming off of 3234. Still looks pretty complex. This is from last night. Uh, the most recent imagery here does show some growth here along the eastern edge of the sunspot. Well, I guess when you're talking the sun, this would be the western edge. I don't know. I'm still confused on all that. They talk about the eastern edge over here and the western edge on the uh, on the sun. I guess that's just how it is. Uh, but still, a little bit of setup here for uh, that continued flaring. Still a lot of intermixing of the different colors, the polarities, and this growth right here on the side, right side of the uh, sunspot looks uh, pretty impressive there. We'll continue to watch this for some further flaring. Out here along the eastern limb of the sun, a couple new sunspots developing. Maybe this one up here looks like it's uh, got some... Um, interesting development can't really see it all that well but uh we'll watch these sunspots as they rotate in the view uh, but for now 3234 does harbor some uh, potential for some further flaring these guys have not updated their flare threat level yep they're showing 99 percent chance for a c flare m flare at 50 x flare at 15 percent chance um but we'll continue to watch that uh sunspot 3234 for some potential further flaring the auroras have died down um unfortunately I, I know a lot of folks like seeing that i would love to see it uh just you know i think we have a good chance of seeing it here if we just have everything lined up uh, as long as the stars are all lined up and we're uh, in position to receive a major cme uh, we could see uh, the lights down here into northern california uh, I think the last time that happened was back in 2004. Uh, I don't remember why I didn't catch that. I, I, I was just reading up on it last night, and uh, I think uh, extreme northern California seen a little bit of it. Uh, but I don't know exactly how, how far south it went. I'm wanting to think it was down um, well south of me as well, but it's been a while, 24, I mean 20 years almost, 19 years, so quite a bit of time passed since then. All right, uh, let's see. I think that's about it here, folks. We'll continue to watch this. The solar wind speed definitely dropped off, uh, and the density is just down there, so we're not seeing any uh, significant solar storms as um, far as the auroras go currently. Speed is bouncing up and down, uh, but everything looks fairly stable there in the interplanetary magnetic field. All right, folks, have a good day. Stay safe out there. It's quite windy uh i don't know how long the um, bells were on there hopefully it didn't uh spew over too much on the on the uh, update here looks like i didn't mute the uh the bells all right well 3.3 coming into that area again around the mediterranean we'll continue to watch that uh, obvious signs of uptick in movement across the area i believe that's definitely been triggered by that deeper earthquake activity yesterday we'll catch you guys a little bit later on tonight folks have a good one take care and stay safe out there